Hey, good morning all. This is Mark Nizzle getting ready to do some raids over at Jabberwock to fill up this raid chest. Let's take a look. Do a little bit of color stacking over here today. We will run um, a 2 2 1 lineup. This will be two reds, two purples, and Anatella as my yellow tank today. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. Let's review this team a little bit. Um, this is my best team over here. It's a 27-77 team power. Um, I got Cyprian doing a little bit of a counterattack. Wilbur will link and defense boost this team a little bit. Uh, it'll also link and defense down uh, the opponent's team. Anatel will hit three people pretty hard. She's pretty beefy for a tank, um, even though she's now fully ascended and leveled up. Um, and she also pulls mana. It's, it's over four turns. Pretty nice. Uh, Boomer, he's one of the event heroes. Let me pull him up for you guys. Uh, he's going to deal damage to everybody, and he's going to give me a holy boost um, for the uh, nearby allies, which is pretty nice. Um, and then last we got Colin. Colin's going to also hit everybody, and then he has a damage burn that goes over six turns. Um, so very helpful with Wilbur. Um, because you're hitting everybody anyway, you might as well um, bring that defense down for everybody. Then anything that bounces back also will be pretty helpful too. So um, let's get started. Um, we'll kind of look for some yellow tanks, um, maybe some green tanks, um, and depend on a lot of tall damage as we go. Let's see what kind of color stacks we can find out in the raid arena today. All right, so let's get started. Take a look. And I'm just cycling through, specifically looking for like some green tank. So here we go. This is Kastrick. Um, we got a little bit of a redirect here too. Um, we'll give it a go. 44 cups. We could definitely take that. Ham looks pretty good. All right. So at the start of these things, the big, the big thing that we're really looking for here is, you know, obviously some good red matches to get, get this thing rolling. Um, you know, we'll also take some purple. So let's go ahead and cut that up a little bit. <clears throat> uh, we got another red here. The question is, do we put four into Kastrick and he goes? Or we do three of each? Uh, since red is the strong color there, let's just go ahead and we'll KO him. Punch some yellow in the middle here. Now we got Anatel going. All right, so we got some counters here. Let's see. Uh, we're probably most likely to, with two red heroes, knock out Caveman pretty easily once we get matches. Um, just going to go some tiles through the middle if I can, uh, just to burn up this board a little bit, get some, get some favorable things going. I'm trying to make a play on these reds. Let's see what we can do here. Alright, so we lost Colin. He's gone, but won't be forgotten. So we'll get that. Let's go ahead and hit everybody here. Let's see where, where we're at. Alright. So, hopefully this is enough to get Caden down. Nope. Alright. So now we got to get a little creative here. Let's see what we can burn. Not really too worried about the right side at the moment. Let's see if we can get a fast charge on any of these reds. All right, so I think our best bet is probably just to send some yellows up here. Let's see if we can get Caveman. Uh, well, the good part is we're probably going to get him down. These things are, you know, a little bit of a puzzle when you're playing with mediocre teams. Um, but, you know, we're in a good spot right now. part is we got most of the middle kind of open for us for our taking. Let's 
see if we can throw some matches over here at Cyprian, kind of beat him out a little bit, and we did. All right, so we're up against some counter stuff here, but Anatol's pretty heavy on Paolo, because he's not going to certainly die here. Uh, got some red and no red heroes. That looks like a good feed. Burn some blue. Let's see if we can shuffle the board up a little bit. So there we go. Obviously that was a longer than normal raid, um, but you know, we picked up a lot of cups there. We picked up some good food, um, and then you know, we'll go on to the next one. Two, two, one, right? Um, all right, so same deal. Let's take a roll out here. Just looking for yellow tanks, looking for green tanks. Um, here's one here, uh, paying some pretty good cups. The ham's not all that great. But, uh, you know, I also got two purples. So, this looks like a pretty good matchup here, all in all. You know, the red is a wash. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll give this a roll. 200 point underdog. Alright, so let's get out to a fast start. Um, we'll get that going. We got both of those colors on the board. I probably was in a good mood. <laughs> it happens, you know. Um, I'd like to get some red on the Evelyn if possible. Take this purple directly into Lizu. I'm not sure how we're going to get it. Let me just try to cut this up a little bit here. Send a bunch right up that way. Feed some yellow over here. And obviously I'm going to get worked over here, but See if we can finish strong, get a raid kill at least. And like if we were in war, you know, obviously a good strategy would be to knock out that tank anyway. So, hey, came in as an underdog. We didn't really lose much cups. Go on to the next one. Wasn't the best for it either. All right, so 500 point differential roughly. Um, green Castric, uh, that looks good for our threads. Lizo, two purples for her. Uh, yeah, we'll give it a go. 41 cups. <coughs> Off to a rocking start here. We got some yellow, some purple Cascade. Um, let's go ahead, we'll get that going. Oh, wow, got, got a nice red roll right there. Um, See that red, we shoot up that yellow. Nice purple hit. All right, so now we're kind of lit up. We're looking like we're going to be in a good spot here. <coughs> All right, we got these shields down. Let's hit Boomer a little bit. He doesn't really do too much. Just kind of feeding up some reds here. Not a fan of the counter too much, but the shields are down. Got some Anatel here. Feed her on to the right. Feed her to hit some of these guys. 
that's a good part about Wilbur is uh, you know there's par there's times where like half of the board is not uh, really ideal to hit because of counterattacks or you know people getting ready to use their special on you um, the length with everybody you know you can hit specific targets on one side and still get that damage over to them as well Get some yellow. <clears throat> Not really worry about Wilbur with a full deck over here. At this point, I'm really just trying to you know, go some tiles, get some specials, and just walk away with the win. And there we go, 400 down, pick up some nice uh, cups, food was okay, um, go to the next one. Two for one today, yeah, two decent boards, all tough matchups, it's about 300 difference, but you know, we're looking for yellow and we're looking for green tanks, that's our calling card. Wow, this uh, would be fun. Uh, I'm not really feeling it, but we don't have any blue. Pays well. Ham's okay. Let's give it a run. Pretty even matchup for the most part. I would expect red to be doing a big number. Wow, some nice purple here. There we go. Red is like the greatest thing to see in an all green world. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we made some pretty fast work out of that. Could go very bad though. You know, you don't get any red here and you get pelted for a little bit. The good part was I, I knew green was going to be the weakest color against Bunch Reds. Alright, so three for one. 